In today's video, I'm going to be doing some tips, tricks, and hidden features on the brand new Samsung Galaxy A26. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. We have the brand new Galaxy A26 right here. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you some pretty cool tips and tricks. And uh, hopefully there's something new in here that you guys can learn. Again, if you guys have your own tips and tricks, let the people in the comment section down below know. Let's go ahead and start a community chat. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start this off. So one of the first tips and tricks I really do enjoy, and it's definitely something that has fixed an annoyance for me on the Galaxy A26, has to be this panel option right here. So it's basically called View Panels Together. So when you drop down your panel right here, you're gonna get your quick settings. Uh, and that's how you get your settings on the right side. On the left side, you're gonna get your notifications. Uh, that was kind of annoying me a bit, especially when I was using the device uh, with one hand. So to go ahead and fix that, we're going to go ahead and click the pencil right here. Then we're going to go to panel settings, and then we're going to go ahead and click together. So once we do that and we exit out of here, we're going to go ahead and go into that drop down bar menu. We're going to see our notifications. And right after that, we're going to see our quick toggle settings. So that's definitely something that has been an annoyance for me uh, with the Galaxy A26. And that's just how to quickly fix that and get that out of the way if any of you were dealing with that issue. Next up, we have something called battery protection. What you're gonna wanna go and do is go into settings. We're gonna scroll down to the battery right here. Go ahead and click on that. And we're gonna go ahead and click on battery protection right here. This is not gonna be on by default, so this is definitely something that you're gonna have to be a little bit more proactive about. Uh, it gives you a little description. It says, keeping your battery at 100% charge for a long time can reduce its lifespan. Choose an option below to protect your battery and make it last longer. So absolutely love that Samsung is educating people about this. There is something called battery degradation, meaning that if you leave your phone on the charger while you're sleeping and it hits 100%, it is going to degrade your battery life. And in the past, I've had devices that would go from seven hours battery life to like three hours battery life, especially with like my S22 Ultra absolutely hated it, totally killed my battery, and I didn't even cycle through that device that many times. So what you wanna go and do is pick one of these options. Of course, we have basic. So it says when your battery is charged to 100%, charging will stop until the battery level drops down to 95%, and then it will start charging again. Uh, we also have adaptive, so it stops charging at 80% while you're asleep. And we have a setting right here called maximum. Uh, so your battery will stop charging when it reaches 80%, 85%, 90% or 95%. So we got this new option right here, which is pretty cool. And if you guys want to uh, go ahead and save your battery life for the future, definitely go ahead and check out this feature. It's definitely a lifesaver and a battery saver. Next up, I wanna show you how to make your device more vivid, more colorful, uh, and just look a lot nicer overall. What I usually go ahead and do is go into these settings. I go to display, and I usually do this with new devices, guys. So this isn't something that I'm barely doing. Uh, when you go into screen mode, click on that. And we have something called advanced features. Usually by default mode, it's on vivid, which gives you a little bit more of that popping color. And you can obviously choose the white balance right there from cool to warm. But in advanced settings, we're gonna have something even cooler. We have something called vividness. So this makes your phone screen more colorful. And of course, Samsung just has one of the nicest panels out there. So you really want it to shine. And if we turn that vividness up, just look up here it gets much, much more colorful and vibrant. So if you want a more colorful and vibrant display, that is definitely something I would go ahead and set up. All right, guys, next up, I'm gonna be showing you something called circle to search. This is definitely something uh, newer. A lot of people don't know about this, but uh, some of you may know about this. Basically, what you're gonna do is hold the home button. Um, if you guys have that swipe up little gesture motion, you're gonna hold that for a little bit until this pops up. And basically, you're gonna tap or you're gonna circle something. So we're gonna go ahead and circle this real quick. And it's basically going to give us a description of what this is. Depending on what we search, it may give us a bunch of images, it may give us some Reddit threads or some websites, but the artificial intelligence basically figures out what you're looking at. Maybe it's a product that you see in a video, maybe it's a bottle of wine, 
uh, that you see in a photo. It's a phone that you see in a photo. If you go ahead and use circle to search, it's basically going to search the World Wide Web and figure out what you're looking at and give you uh, more of a description of what you're looking at basically. So definitely a cool little feature right there. Next up, we're going to look at a tip that is going to boost your performance of your phone, basically let you have more windows open and run things a lot smoother. What we're going to do is go into settings and we're going to scroll all the way down until we get to device care. So once we see device care, go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to go ahead and click on memory right here. Now, once we click on memory, it's going to be checking our memory and we're going to scroll down again and we have something called RAM Plus. Let's go ahead and click that. And once we're in here, it gives us a little description saying RAM Plus uses your phone storage space to provide virtual memory. Uh, choose more virtual memory to allow more apps to stay open in the background. So this gives you a little bit of a performance boost using the storage inside of your phone. So we can go to two, four, six, or eight gigabytes of uh, RAM right here. And uh, basically with this, you're going to have to restart your phone every time you change this. So definitely make sure that uh, you're ready to restart your phone before you choose this option. But yeah, it's a pretty cool thing if you'd like to speed up the performance of your phone a little bit. Also, there's something that you can do as well that's a little less technical and it's called reduce animation. So go ahead and type in reduce animations. And this is something that I'd like. Uh, to use especially since we don't have to go into developer options or anything like that samsung just kind of just gave it to us uh, but reduce animations right here it prevents some screen effects useful if you're sensitive to animations or screen movement or you're just someone who is very impatient uh, if we have that off obviously it's going to show us all of the screen animations going on as you guys can see but if we turn this on it's kind of like no frills it just goes in and out of whatever you're clicking on. So it's gonna speed up your phone a little bit more by deactivating those animations. So definitely something cool to look into. All right, everyone, so this last tip is gonna be in the camera application. And when we open this up, by default, we're gonna use the 12 megapixel camera on this phone. Um, and a lot of you only wanna use the 50 megapixel camera. Of course, you're gonna get more detail. It's gonna be a much better resolution. Um, and if you want to use that by default, instead of just closing this and opening it up, and it goes back to 12 megapixels, how to have it out by default is go ahead and click on this square right here. There's gonna be a little square. You're gonna click on settings, and we're gonna scroll all the way down and get to settings to keep. So go ahead and click on that. And once we're here, we have something called high picture resolutions. Basically keep 50 megapixel resolution applied instead of switching to the default resolution, which is 12 megapixels when you close the camera. So if you turn that on and you back out, close this application, open it back up. You guys are gonna have your 50 megapixel shooter right there instead of having to change it. Now, this is something that, of course, is very easy to do. Um, it's very easy to just tap that and change it back, but a lot of the time, uh, people don't even recognize that they're getting the best resolution out of their phone's camera when they don't have that on. So, uh, yes, it is easy to change it back, but a lot of people forget to change it from 12 to 50 megapixels. So. That's a little cool trick for you photographers out there. So yeah, guys, those are some tips, tricks, and hidden features on the Samsung Galaxy A26. If you have some of your own, let the people know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, Tech Gang.